It is Friday, the 26th of February, and you are listening to Plugged In with your host, Samantha DeBrain. Can you believe that we are already entering March? Just two days left of February before we move into the third month of the year already. Just the other day we were celebrating Christmas and New Year's and all the festivities that went along with it. And now we are already done with the first quarter of the year. And what a whirlwind it most definitely has been. Here in South Africa, we have been in and out of multiple stages of lockdown and currently we are still under stage three and it has its limitations. But the one thing that it cannot limit is that this show takes place every Friday at 3 p.m. here on e-radio. And every week there is just something new, something different and something to learn Here at Plugged In, we focus on the ins and outs of the music industry, particularly the South African music industry. But then I also dabble in the international sector of the show, having the Canadian pop duo known as Neon Dreams on my show at the end of 2020. For those that are listening that perhaps are wanting to enter the industry or know of someone wanting to become a singer, this is definitely the show that you need to be listening to. So far, we have covered the likes of radio plugging, production, songwriting, and have had some really incredible, very well-known acts such as Prime Circle, Dan Patlansky, Rubber Duck, and many more that have been on the show that have been able to shed some light into the industry where we really went in depth into their careers and how they started. So if you are listening for the very first time, welcome to my show. I hope that we end this hour with you having learned something about the South African music industry. And if not, at least taken away some of the incredible tracks that I have lined up for you today. You're on E-Radio. Not only am I here with you every Friday on E-Radio, I also have to boss lady. And that entails me running my SAM management agency, which covers absolutely everything within the entertainment and marketing sector. We handle things such as radio plugging, social media management, content creation, as well as live music. And that leads me to some of the gigs happening this coming weekend. We have the sassy bombshell of an artist by the name of Amy Chasink. And you would know her from The Voice South Africa where she was a top 10 semi-finalist. She will be performing at Kopstad Brauhaus on Saturday as well as Tiger's Milk in Durbanville on Sunday. Those details will be up on my Facebook page at Plugged In with Samantha De Brain. And then if you are in the KZN area, you can catch Matt Gardner at Stoker's Arms on Sunday. And hopefully it goes a whole lot better than it did this previous Sunday as Matt took a sip from his Coke. There just happened to be a be that wanted to become a part of him. <laughs> Subsequently, he ended up performing with a very swollen bottom lip. But here at Sam Management, we are proud to represent our resilient and hardworking, as well as persistent artists. So if you are looking for some live music this weekend, you can catch Amy in Cape Town and Matt in KZN. This is E Radio. The first artist on my show today is an artist that I've worked with for many years. I have watched as he has grown from strength to strength and continues to level up within the South African music industry. 
He has toured the country as well as being on some of the biggest stages here in South Africa in his own right, but as well as touring with the renowned Majosi. This is Aston Wiley. Oh, thank you so much, Sam. And and congratulations to you on your, your e-radio show. I think that you've got a really good knack for it, man. So it's cool to see you growing and, and stepping into this realm. Thanks for having me on. I'm glad to be here chatting to you. Thank you so much, Aston. I really do appreciate that. But I want to shed some spotlight on one of your previous singles titled Stormy Waters. This is a track that I have had on repeat throughout 2020 and I pretty much know it's lyric for lyric and there is this production element that is this anthemic amalgamation of everything that comes together and I just want to know everything about this track because I am pretty sure that I have contributed to most of the streams. Hey, I'd, I'd have to see you and Majorzi fight over who's got the top streams because you and Majorzi have said the same thing now about the streams on that track. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I wrote that song a couple of years ago. It's um, a lot of my songs are nature based. So with that song, Basically, I thought about, um, I've never been a good swimmer at all. And I thought about that feeling of being under the water. And one thing they always tell you is don't struggle when you're in the sea. You know, let the sea take you and uh, always respect its power. And um, that song is kind of about surrendering those moments where you're not in control to let it take you somewhere and hopefully it'll be somewhere better. But instead of fighting it, just, um, you know, try and embrace it and know that you're going to eventually surface. Hopefully. (laughs) Well, Aston, you have most definitely blown yourself out of the water with this release. Hence the pun. (laughs) But there really is such a beauty in the way that you derive your inspiration from nature. And that can definitely be heard throughout your single releases. (laughs) Oh, thanks. I mean, it's like there's... I'm not like, I'm not like a huge hiker or anything like that, but you know, like when you go onto a hill, sometimes you look down and you see pictures of that thing. Like if you're climbing up lion's head or something, you see pictures all the time, people posting it. But when you're up there, you realize, wow, the world is vast and you are high above the sea level right now. And it's like, it just, sometimes for me personally, it's like, it's that overwhelming experience of seeing the the size and the power of, of something natural, you know, that was born from the earth. It's amazing. I speak for myself here, and I'm sure many of you will agree, though, is it's quite incomprehensible when you are trying to find perspective in the greatness of something like this ginormous mountain and how small and perhaps insignificant you may feel when comparing yourself to something of such magnitude. It is beautiful that you have been able to incorporate all of these factors into this release titled Stormy Waters and pull in your different inspirations that is not just one dimensional, that you really are opening yourself up to nature, which is completely multidimensional. Oh, well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I think like it's it, um, being outdoors, traveling and experiencing that, that, that feeling, it's a glimpse into what must have happened. I mean, that's what we do as humans. We expand. And imagine, I always think about it. I always think, what are the people, um, like, how did they get to Franschhoek and places like that? How did they get to Cape Town? They must have walked. And those horses must have been so tired by the time they got there. <laughs> because, I mean, they came from overseas. It's absolutely amazing. So it's just a taste of, you know, like what we're naturally good at at expanding. And Aston, something you are very good at is writing, producing and releasing hit singles, such as this next song that we are going to play titled Stormy Waters. For those that have just tuned in, we have Aston Wiley on the line. And as soon as the track is done, we'll be chatting to him some more. Stormy waters crashing down, crashing down on me. Gave the orders to flush me out, yeah, to flush me out to sea. I think that I can find peace beneath the waves. I'll be holding on. I'm holding on to you. I hold on today. 
Entertainment Radio, on the go. This is E-Radio. You are back with your host, Samantha DeBrain on Plugged In. And if you have just tuned in, we have the insanely talented Aston Wiley on the line with us. And if you heard a bit of the commotion going on in the background... Aston is not just a person who sits in studio all day with it being all quiet. He also has a beautiful family and a relatively brand new little baby who is 17 months old. So pretty much a year and a half. Aston, please, I've got to know, what has it been like being a dad and juggling being an artist, songwriter, you know, performer as well as dad and husband? Uh, look, in a nutshell, it's it's been the absolute best. Um, it's it's an amazing being a dad, because like it, that that little kid, you know, like it comes from it comes from Kaylee, who's obviously the closest person to me. Um, from like watching him grow in the stomach to to being here right now, nothing can describe it. It's it's just amazing. It's a lot of hard work. I mean, I think like forty percent of my day is literally taken up looking after him and then 40% is sleep sleeping and other 20% is trying to trying to do everything else to kind of get my music in order <laughs> so it's a tough it's a tough balancing act um especially uh going through COVID and stuff like that I mean I've always had a lot of time at home but we've had a crazy amount of time at home now so it's it's been a, a privilege to to get to see him grow and I mean he's gone from not walking to walking he's gone from oh, not man. really saying much to, to blurting out all the time all in the space of uh, like a year it's been amazing it is beautiful to see how quickly that they do develop I had a chat to Dan Patlansky on my show last week and we just chatted about him also being a dad and He's got a six-year-old and three-year-old and just in those years, seeing how they have developed and the things that they are able to do at different ages. And I know with my little nephew, AJ, who's the absolute love of my life, is that they are constantly evolving into these little humans, actually, you know, and I can only imagine what it's like when it is your own so for you to experience that and be such a cool hip parent you and Kaylee both is really so beautiful 
Yeah, man, look, it, it's definitely the tail that you can't catch because they <laughs> develop so quickly. I, I admire their, their curiosity. They're, they're, I mean, they'll be into something for a week, or at least Warwick will. He'll be into something for a week, and then just when you're starting to get into that routine of, okay, he likes this ball, he'll be like, no, 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 I don't want this ball, I want the box. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, let's see what you do in the box. And it really is, um, their curiosity is, is something I think, if anything I've learned is that we need to be more curious about things and ask more questions because that's what what's what he does all the time. All he's doing is asking questions. Yeah, wanting constantly, to learn. Every day, every day. Exactly. What is this? Can I climb it? Can I eat it? <laughs> <laughs> can can you come can you come with me? Can can you stay over there? It's it's amazing. It's a lot of fun. Uh well, you enjoy every single moment with him and I know that Kelly will be enjoying it too. Aston, you not only have got an incredible, basically, story behind you, but you also studied the Bachelor of Music degree. How has that impacted your music in terms of songwriting as well as performances? It's impacted my thinking a lot more than it has impacted my performance. Um, learning learning about music in depth um, with the classical and jazz fundamentals helps you think differently. Um, when it came to to show production, for instance, I mean, I can, I'd be able to say, oh, that's a minor chord or that's a major chord, Sim like yeah. in, a, in simple terms. Um, but it definitely hasn't impacted my performances in any way. I enjoyed university. I did really well at university, but it definitely... And definitely, I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. I feel like I wasted my time. I mean, I got a degree, I got it, it was cool, but I would have I would have done that four years on the road performing rather. Yeah. Um, I don't recommend it for growth um, in terms of career. I'd, I recommend it for people who are, um, I would recommend it for people who are academically inclined yeah. and want to, to, to learn theory further. But I mean, it's really not for everyone. I think out of, the 12 people that were in my class at the end of music tech, 11 of them were teachers and I was the only one who kind of went on to perform. Yeah. So I think it definitely, like, performance. Yeah. I think it's definitely something that people who want to study more the theoretical side of the music, you, you know, industry, then that's definitely a path to take. But, but from what I'm getting yeah, from it's, you, it's, you know, it's just, it, yeah, is, yeah. it gave you an under, it gave you a, perhaps gave you a better understanding as to, like you said, the chords and the structure and, and all of that, which I'm sure has helped more in a production sense. But I got you with what you're saying about performances. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it helps you gain a, a clearer understanding of how mu all music actually ties together. You can yeah. see the similarities in hip hop that you can see in a Mozart yeah. piece. You know, like you can see those type of similarities. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Like it was a lot of fun. The, the work was relatively easy. I've, I've always kind of understood music. So it was nice to spend those four years uh, harnessing that, uh, that, that theoretical potential. Um, but now I look back at some of it six years later and I'm like, damn, son, I don't know what's going on over here. <laughs> but you know what? I love how honest you are about it. Yeah, like I said, I just I yeah, love how honest well, I mean, you are about it because also, I mean, your, your mindset changes and you are a very different person now than you would have been six years ago, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like I said, I really enjoyed it. But I mean, if I could do it again, I'd rather spend those, those four years harnessing something else. Um, yeah. I got to do some other amazing things that were worth it. Like I traveled with the NMMU choir. We toured nationally and internationally every year. And that was wow. just fun. I mean, that was like a free holiday. Um, wow. And you got to perform in front of crowds that, 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 appreciate African music. That was our, our thing. We had, we had, I think, 26 different cultures and nationalities in our choir. So like people were super in awe of our, our product, if I can call it that. And um, it, was, it was really awesome to be South African at times like that when we could perform for, for people who actually didn't see it just as a, another African band, uh, African choir or something like that. When we went to China, I mean, the people's eyes widened like <laughs> they couldn't believe what they were seeing. You know, they're used to sitting in auditoriums dead still. But when we told them to get up and clap and dance, I mean, some, some, some of those people, it was probably the first time they've ever danced in their life. 
So wow. to impact people like that was 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 phenomenal, um, and that was probably the best thing I got out of out exactly. of university. And that wouldn't have happened if it. you didn't go down that path. But you've actually just reminded yeah, me absolutely. of a series that I've just finished watching on Netflix called Voices of Fire, and you oh, wow. I, I think it's it's a it's a series it's just it's a four part series and it's something that i think you would definitely be able to relate to it's it's the well known world famous Pharrell Williams who him and his uncle decided to put together this choir as well with people from all walks of life different ages and to see it all come together they do these auditions and then right at the end they have their main concerts it's their showcase and these guys i mean this has just been shot just aired and it's brand new so these guys are going on to tour worldwide now so it's 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 a beautiful thing to see how different voices have come together to create such a magical piece and that's exactly what you would have been a part of yeah, man. I mean, qu- choirs are, are, are highly, highly underrated. Highly, highly underrated because it's, it, there's nothing purer than it. You're not playing a, a physical instrument. Yeah. It's literally people using their bodies to produce a harmonious product. Um, and I mean, look what Kanye West has done with his Sunday service. Oh, man. It's absolutely amazing. He wants to get onto like a 100,000 person choir eventually. <laughs> and I'm all there for it. <laughs> because, I mean, you get goosebumps with one person singing, you get more right? with two. I mean, imagine 100,000 people singing together. Oh, man. It's hardly underrated. It's, yeah. it's, it's been so cool to see his transformation as an artist as well and to see that his direction change, actually. Um, and Kanye West transition into, into politics. <laughs> that as well as more, more, more into gospel. <laughs> You know, it's, oh, oh, I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm Look, more into the gospel he's, he's side of, of life, man. and yeah, the the politics side of things are probably not the greatest decision of his at the, to this point. I'd vote for him. I'd vote for him. <laughs> I'd give him the red button. I'd give him the red button. It's got more feeling than either one of those other two candidates. So I'd vote for him. <laughs> for anyone listening, some that is too, some say it's too emotional. <laughs> but. Anyone that is lis- my Kanye West endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> to anyone that is listening in the states, because we actually do have a lot of state listeners, let us know your thoughts on what you would say about Kanye West being president. <laughs> but we are not here to speak about politics. We are here to chat about your brand new EP titled "Stormy Waters." It is actually also the name of one of your previous releases, as well as your lead single, Trouble. And I must say, Aston, as I said, off air to you as well. And possibly the biggest reason of this interview today is just because I fell in love with this single. It is almost a combination of The Weeknd and A Wall Nation with its international production. And this is definitely something that I am going to be carrying throughout 2021. And I encourage everyone that is listening to go and download Trouble by Aston Wiley right now. And make sure that it is on repeat as it is with me at the moment. But Aston, I want to know more about this track. Oh, thank you so much, man. It's a, it's it's uh, it's been in the in the works for a long time. The track was recorded a couple of years ago with a handful of other singles, but it, it's it's definitely the um, the best one, I think, and that's why it's the last to come out. Um, Sound wise, you know, we were going for we were going for Alt J Imagine Dragons type of thing, but it's cool to see how it translates differently. Um, and also it was recorded like two years ago. So I mean there's so many bands that have kind of come through and, and the weekend's one of my favorite artists at the moment. I think he should have got a Grammy. It's my personal opinion. Yeah, I know hundred percent. Um and I'm excited for the for for the album. I mean um, it, it, it was a whole bunch of songs that took a long time to come to fruition. Um, I had Earvolt and Dolph from Pop Cult produce half of the songs, and then I've produced half of the songs. So it's definitely an eclectic sound. It bounces between very poppy to to more singer songwriter, which I'd say is is probably my my more suited avenue. 
especially performance wise. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited and and uh, it's going to be good to kind of just have it out there. Well, Aston, before I let you go and I'm going to play this epic track, how can we find you on social media? On social media, you can find me at Aston Wiley and that's Aston like the car, not like not like the town in South Africa. <laughs> if you're not from South Africa, a lot of people call me Ashton here or Ash, which, I, which I'm totally cool with, except for when it's on the socials. It's Aston Wiley on Instagram and Facebook. I don't do anything with Twitter. Um, so yeah, that's where you can find me. Well, I will be tagging you in posts on my different platforms, which is plugged in with Samantha DeBrain. I'll tag you on all of those so everyone can find you, follow you and listen to this track. So Aston, thank you so much for being on my show today. And for everyone listening, this is Trouble by Aston Wiley. Every day is like the first time You let me pick and choose But baby, it's just you You were born to shine You better hold on to these handles I'm beginning to change angles Once we're in, we're through There's nothing left to lose Cause you turn up when I need you most you're more than just a friend And when you're gonna feel your ghost Then I just, just pretend Yeah, la 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 I don't know if you could ever, you could ever leave my mind again la 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 We came together one and one, tra la la now it has begun You make me feel I'm out of practice I need another breath like there's nothing left Your body's made for mine You better hold on to these handles I'm beginning to change angles We're gonna see this through A boom, 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 boom I want you in my room again Cause you turn up when I need you most You're more than just a friend And when you're gonna On show. It's a heartless foe. I need your touch to fill my soul. I'm a trouble you. Could you be my home? Trouble you. Could be me and you. My bones on show. It's a heartless foe. I need your touch to fill my soul. I'm a trouble you. Could you be my home? Tra -la 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 -la. I don't know if you could ever, you could ever leave my mind again. Heartless hole, I need your touch to fill my soul. I'm a trouble you. Could you be my home? Get the E-Radio SA app right now for free on the Google Play Store. Entertainment Radio on the go. If you have just tuned in, you are listening to Plugged In on E-Radio with your host, Samantha DeBrain. And our next artist that we are going to be featuring today is an artist that made his radio debut right here on my show at the end of 2020. And I am so proud that E-Radio has been able to break this artist. He goes by the name of Bradley Knight. 
if he sounds familiar, it was most definitely because his debut single, which was unreleased, was a complete hit before it had even dropped. I am so excited that today I have Bradley Knight on the line where this single today goes live. It is a single by the name of Lost. It is available on all streaming platforms. So please go and support local artists, especially an artist that has just dropped his debut single, which has already received multiple hits throughout South Africa on different radio stations, including having received first plays ahead of the day of release. If you love it as much as we have, give us a thumbs up on our Facebook page, which is at Plugged In with Samantha DeBrain, as well as Entertainment Radio. But on the line, I have Bradley Knight. Welcome, Brad. Hey Sam, good to be back on the show. A lot has happened since the last time we chatted. It's always great chatting to you. Brad, since signing with myself and my agency, Sam Management, you have been given some huge insight into the process of getting a song onto the South African radio stations, as well as everything else that happens behind the scenes. How has this transition been for you? Yeah, it's definitely been a learning curve. I mean, I've been learning a lot kind of dealing with all of this and working with you on the plugging and all of that. Um, So it's been fascinating. It's been intriguing to see how it all works and also to to have, you know, a bit of success with a pre, you know, release exclusive play on Jacaranda. So I've kind of seen how the whole thing operates, which has been amazing, really has. So part of the release that I sent through to the radio stations as a radio plugger was that this song that you sent me, I have never received a debut single to this standard, to this level, to this excellence. And that was included in the press release that went out and pretty much most of the stations agreed with me. And that is why (laughs) the success has been almost actually instant for you, which is very rare to happen in this industry, especially as a first-time artist bringing out his debut single. So I just want to congratulate you as well as your producer on creating such an incredible track. But I want to know more about this track. Obviously, I know all the ins and outs of what this track is about, but from your words, what is this track about and what led you to using such beautiful production elements? Well, first of all, thanks for all the compliments. I really appreciate it. (laughs) Feeling very grateful for all the positive responses. So that's been great. Um, But with uh, regards to last, I mean, it was kind of last year in the initial lockdown period. Uh, you know, that feeling of, of of uncertainty and a bit of anxiety yeah. around the whole movements yeah. and the pandemic going on in the world and sitting down and trying to kind of transmute that feeling and that emotion into something, you know, that I could put towards my music. So, yeah, from that point, I think because of, of, of you know, all the emotions that were coming up, you know, the whole transitionary process of putting it and putting the lyrics together and also the chord progressions just felt very natural. Um, so yeah, I mean, in, in one of the biggest things that's happened in the world, also one of the biggest things happened to my music. So very happy. It definitely is a song to celebrate, especially coming out of the hardest part of lockdown. So if this is what lockdown did to you, I cannot wait to see what else (laughs) is going to be coming from, (laughs) from Bradley Knight. (laughs) I really hope Well, hopefully not more lockdowns. (laughs) Let's let's just hope not many more. Let's definitely. One song's enough. Absolutely. (laughs) And now you worked with Blake Sayer, the producer on this track, and you guys created this beautiful, dreamy, melancholic track. And I mean... What was the drive in studio with this? Did you have a particular sound that you were going for? Did you reference something or was that something that you kind of just worked on together? Um, Yeah, it is something we worked on together. I think with my initial kind of aim for the project, I wanted each track to have its own atmosphere. And for me, the best way to create that atmosphere would be to add, you know, what they call Foley sounds, 
uh, which are just organic sounds that you can go pick up wherever in a forest or, you know, in the beginning of last year here, there's a bit of cricket sounds in the beginning. Yeah. And basically the aim, the aim was to, like to kind of immerse uh, the listener within that song's atmosphere to, you know, just to, just to create um, a little bit more honesty and integrity with the track and kind of bring you out of reality and, in, and thrust you into that moment. So, yeah, very fortunate that I linked up with Blake because he's a phenomenal producer. He's also an artist and a, a singer-songwriter, so it's just the whole package. Um, and sitting down together, I mean, he immediately caught on to that um, aim. And, yeah, he was able to put that into his production and into the final product. As you were speaking there, the way that you were describing the song, I could almost just picture it and feel it. It's, it's almost quite tangible, actually. And I think what we need to do now is let everybody hear the song that we have been speaking about. If they have not already heard it from the first time that you were on e-radio. But before we play the song, how can we find you on social media? Um, I think the biggest way to follow me would be on Instagram. So my handle is at Mr. Bradley Knight with a K. Um, I've also got a page, Bradley Knight, on Facebook too. I will be posting all the updates on those two sources. Amazing. I will also be sharing your links across my social media. And for everyone that is listening, head through to Brad's social media and drop a comment on his most recent post about how much you love this track because it is almost impossible for you not to. Brad, thank you so much for taking the time out to be on my show with me today. And let's see what happens next with this track. Amazing. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Sam. Always great catching up with you on your show. Cool. Thanks, Enjoy the Brad. song. This is Bradley Knight with his debut single, Lost. I'm lost today. Is there anybody out there Sitting with a cigarette Still trying to figure it out Don't want to waste your time But I'm sick of it I'm tired of fitting in yeah. Starting to lose my mind Just want to take a ride I just want to step aside Draw my side Travel through the night and get lost, baby Cause I wanna break the rules tonight Let's get a little crazy Set this roof on Set this roof on fire Glow just like a rainbow. But when the sun goes down, could you stick around? Don't leave me now. Cause I thought we might travel through the night. I wanna break the rules tonight. Scared a little crazy. Set this roof on. Set this roof on fire. Cause lately, I'm just not feeling right.
that was Bradley Knight with his debut single titled Lost, which has truly set a standard for any debut singles or singles in general. This is an artist who came to me at the end of 2020 with some requests on advice and how I could possibly help him. He has gone back to the drawing board and did everything that I advised him to do and in that resulted in there being a spectacular release. Part of this release is the press pack, something that we covered in one of our previous shows. But if you happen to miss that show, I'm going to give you a brief overview on what a press pack should entail. So I'm going to give you a moment to get out those pens and a paper just to jot some notes down. I will also put this up on my social media accounts which is at plugged in with Samantha Debrain. In your press pack you should contain some subfolders. Those subfolders should be titled lyrics, video content, single cover image, press images, press release or slash bio as well as audio files. This makes it very simple for the music compiler who is receiving the track to know exactly which folder they will find any information that they are looking for. It also comes across incredibly professional that you have labeled it in that way because you are keeping in mind how busy their days are going through all the submissions. When that press pack is received, the compiler will give the song a listen and decide that it, if it is suitable for their station. Please bear in mind that not every radio station will accept and play your music, because just like the diversity of us as human beings, there is a massive diversity in music and sometimes it's just not going to be their cup of tea. And then that's why we drink coffee or something a little bit stronger. So you just keep at doing what you're doing and if you have got a great product, it is going to be well received. Hey everyone, this is Art Matthews and you are listening to Plugged In with Samantha DeBrain on E-Radio. Have a good day. Cheers. As much as I need to stay up to date with the current trend of music in South Africa, as well as the technology advancements that is happening so rapidly, I am an 80s girl by heart. And with that being said, I spent some time this week doing some research on some of our South African greats from the 1980s. And I came across an artist by the name of Pierre de Chamoy. And on further inspection, I came to find out that he is actually from my hometown, Peter Maritzburg, and even attended St. Charles College, where many of my friends attended school as well. And even more amazing than that is discovering that his first vinyl was printed in 1983, and this is a vinyl that I grew up with. His single Live On went to number one in South Africa in 1983, which followed by multiple number ones after that. So this track is dedicated to my pops, who introduced me to this classic 80s music. This is Live On by Pierre de Chamoy. Moments shared with you are in a dream And every day just seems an endless scheme And do I'd like to have you here right now To share my feelings and to reason why I've got to live on Bye. 
I'm living my life, yeah, day to day now, live on. I'm finding my life here, riding my own, talking to folk, but living alone, rap on. Do I like to have you here right now? And a shocking way The time is near I'm feeling secure I'd rock on That was Pierre de Chamoy with his single Live On, which went straight to number one here in South Africa in 1983. This is a man at 60 years old who continues to record and release music, which can be found across his social media platforms as well as on YouTube. Well, we are sharing spotlights on to South African greats. I am going to bring us back to the times with a very well-known duo called Goldfish. And they have gone on to release their sixth studio album with their lead single, Forever Free. It truly is an uplifting song. One that is going to give you the Friday feels and have you dancing right where you are. 
because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing as I play out with the song. Yes, that's right. We have come to the end of yet another show of Plugged In with me, your host, Samantha DeBrain. And you can find me on social media at Plugged In with Samantha DeBrain. If you have any song suggestions or dedications, you can just pop them right there. So from me, I pray that you have a blessed weekend. Keep safe and know you are loved. None of us are tied down. Gravity can't hold us now. We're forever floating. Our feet will never touch the ground. Take the leap, it's now or never Come with me, just cut that tether We will always be together on a wire Feel your faith begin to shake Suddenly remember It never held us anyway All this time trapped in our own minds We forgot we always could fly It only takes the strength to try Coming along, stay.
step to the beat, dance to the drop arms. Hey, are you coming on down? Let loose your feet, soak up the summer. Hey, are you coming along? Turn up the night, breathe in the sound. Hey, hey, are you coming on down? Lift up the drink, drink up the sun. Hey, hey, are you coming along? Are you coming along? Are you coming along? Hey, hey, are you coming along? Are you coming along? Are you coming along? Hey, are you coming along? Are you coming along? Are you coming along? Cheer up, hey you not broken just bruised, get up, do you know there's an empty space, so fill me up, hey you not broken just bruised, get up, hey, are you coming along, are you coming along, are you coming along, hey, hey, are you coming along, are you coming along, are you coming along, hey, hey, are you coming along, are you coming along, are you coming along, 